How much weight can this yurt model hold? Let's find out. We're going to keep adding weight to the top of this yurt model until it collapses, figure out what broke, make it stronger, and then come back and test it again. So we could start right off the bat with a 10 pound weight and see what happens. Ooh, a significant bit of twisting. That's 10 pounds. We'll put another five on, see how it does at 15. If it collapses around here, then it was definitely risky to put my daughter on it. And see, can it hold 17 and a half? 20 pounds in total going on, guys. Let's see, can it handle 22 and a half pounds? It can. Oh, buddy. The 25 pound weight. Let's see what happens. For 27 and a half, go for 30. Oh, guys, it's close. 32 and a half. These rafter pins have to be almost ready to give out. 35. 37 and a half. Oh. <laughs> We're close, guys. We're very close. Moving up to 40. I'm impressed, guys. I have to say, I am impressed. 42 and a half. We're coming up to 45 and I didn't bring much more weight in than this. I'm gonna have to go get more weights. 47 and a half pounds. 47 and a half pounds. Oh, 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 oh! Seven and a half pounds. Oh, 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 oh! 47 and a half pounds. Oh, 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 oh! oh, 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 oh. There you can see guys, the pins are still holding, but everything has twisted. Now, the pins are bent. So if we take all these pins, replace all the pins, and then modify this compression ring design, we'll get even stronger. Follow for part two.